the campers claim they've become targets of the city council's battle against public drunkenness. Now they've taken their case to the Edge Discrimination Commission. Elisa. The campers say the Leap Point site provides bush tucker and wildlife. You're not going to move out. No. Okay. Residents say they have no place else to go. We get back to Frisco, but no. That's why we left the place we came here because of the water and the water. Bob Bundawadi says he's been at the camp too many years to move anywhere mm -hmm. else. So you've been here 25 years and you're not going anywhere? Yeah, that's right, yeah. The Territory Lands Department issued the first eviction notice last year that family moved to the Kalalak community but later returned. A second notice was then served that eviction delayed after a successful application to the Anti-Discrimination Commission. It's just a really bad, I don't know if it's going to be The main contribution to his um, sickness is basically living conditions. No, in basic necessities such as water, uh, power, toilet, um, not even a roof over his head. So Bob is refusing to go to hospital and says he will stay at the camp until he dies. Yeah, we love this place. Roy Joss died in hospital last night soon after complaining about his kidneys, but Andrew DeWine suggests otherwise. This man died because he suffered. He suffered by... by by government pushing me away, he was so scared. I've never been afraid. He was so scared. But he was so brave to stop and hold the place. He was so brave.